So, who wants to be intimate with you? Hmm. Let's take a look and see, all right? This is going to be your intimate reading. We do got the TLC, Honey, the Red Light special cards. I may not be able to show every card that we have in the deck, okay? But I will definitely inform you on what's going on, so don't you worry about a thing. Get in here. If you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. D. Shaman Hummingbird, honey. All right? A couple announcements before we get started. Make sure that you are subscribed to your areas only placements left tarot anywhere areas is in your chart any karmic energy attachments your person's chart you have messages over there make sure you are clocking all your tea if you need anything personal from me everything you need to know is down below on how to get yourself booked in okay they are by email booking and they will be completed on zoom okay guys the camera is optional all right all right honey um i'll be reading all the signs and the energy that I see here for you guys so don't you worry about a thing the energy is flowing a cannon it will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person throughout this reading okay whatever's happening here can be happening physically and or spiritually okay take what's for you simply leave what is not always keep in mind that this is a general message all right for some of you guys it's going to be both Okay, yes, that's your confirmation. 131 on the timer. So let's see who wants to be in Ooh, intimate with you. Spiritual hiccups. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I just saw somebody here is into car sex. This is the night of one. So you got somebody here that got some game. What they say now, honey, this is somebody that got some reds, honey. Right, what she said. They got a little, they little reds is on. They got a little reds going on, okay? Someone here can also have like the gift of gab. Who is this? The Eight of Chalices. Oh, this is somebody here that walked away from you. Or you walked away from this person. That's who wants to be intimate with you. This could be a scorpion or someone with a scorpion placement. You could be a scorpion. Someone here wants to, like, put your hands on them when they talk to you. They they like to grab you. Wait, listen to me, baby. Come here. That kind of energy is what I'm getting. Mm, that's what I see. they're showing me in this card. Now, as being an extra witch, like, I know, like, certain witches, I know certain hierophants um, have, like, you know, we all have, like, different gifts um, and stuff. But, like, it's crazy how, like, the sometimes um, how the cards, it, it's like every time you see the cards, you can see something different for those that can really, really see. The card does not look the same or don't have the same message every time you look at it. It's why, you know, when I'm channeling the energy, your energy through the card, certain things I can see. I don't know if that if, if that makes any sense. Um, but there's something about this person's energy where they can also, if this is somebody here that is a spiritualist, they know how to do this in the card. So when you're getting their messages, they are also giving me, like, a movie of what's happening, basically. Damn! I'm sorry. Woo, child. Like a movie of what's going on. We got areas. Now, for some of you guys, you are dealing with a boss. I'm going to have to turn this uh, uh, card over. Okay? Um, this is the Aries. This is the Emperor. This person is... Um, they do like to touch yourself. Child, you got this person. But they walked away from you. Yup, they did. They want to talk about it. Yup, the two of... Uh, ones and the king of pentacles. Wait a minute. Let me just take a quick look. Okay. Um, they want to talk about it though. This person's into undressing. This could be somebody here to undress you. Uh, on child. See, y'all trying me today. That's what this is. Oh, child. Yeah. They want to talk. Somebody here likes to talk like, you know, because, you know, YouTube has gotten a lot strict. But it's like after um, intimacy. So you guys just kind of land up, you know, um, maybe have on something, you know, bare minimal. I'll put it like that. And it's like have a conversation. Someone here also likes when you walk around like in your robe. Um, I got to say something. That's what she said. Now, somebody here, like, you look like a hoe, but they want you to be they hoe. You need to look like a hoe when you with them. I don't know who that's for, child. I just got to tell you. Um, this is a boss. Okay, this this person does have their own thing. This person also is attracted to masculine women. You could be in your masculine energy, but um, you also have very uh, feminine, like, attributes 
energy. Now, for example, someone here could be into women that looks like Jocelyn Hernandez. I said look like, but not her type, per se, as in personality and the way she carries herself. Um, but it's like with you, maybe they want you to um, bring a certain energy that she brings as far as her dress code, as far as the way she acts and how she is. Because I, I keep hearing about my man. Like, that's, that's what they want, honey. Mm. Child. Oh, the moon card. Now, this is also someone here that's up and into like threesomes, honey. Someone here likes group sex, uh, couple sex. They have tried this before, but they know that they know. I told you I saw that night of one, honey. Boom! But they know you ain't going to be with it. Or they want to know if you will be with that. Now, this is somebody that's going to try to open you up, honey. This is a tricky magician. Yes, he is. This person that has, I told you, they, you see them three women in the Wheel of Fortune? Okay. That's what she Okay, said. look at this right here. I need you to understand. Okay, and this is someone here that have experienced this before. Okay. They have experienced this before. Uh, this is something now. It's been a minute since they did some real kinky things, and you just... You take them there. You you bring out their inner child. Mm. Now, for some of you guys, this is somebody here you could have known as a child as well. This person knows that you're very defensive. So this is somebody here that wants to get you to this point. Some of you guys, this person has been sending you bluebirds and doves. When someone here goes to work, they just, they don't give a fuck what they look like. That's it's what like, well, said. I'm making money. I'm just, I want to be comfortable. Mm. Okay, so we're going to have to um, see what is going on here. We have eight and two as your angel number. The full moon, you feel this person's energy the strongest. The emperor is also spiritual. He can also be a sigma. Now, for some of you guys, that could be talking to the same sex. Somebody here, I've been picking that up lately. Someone here could also be, um, you know, um, they, they're, they're, they could be, I heard. So, trisexual? This could be also someone here that experienced that. They experienced some kind of group sex or something like that before. Um, it's been a minute or some shit I picked up um, that it, I don't know if they want to. Is there something about you that like pulls them in a certain energy? Like you bring out, you like this person got a freaky side. Huh? This is a freak. Okay. I just heard of Dina Howard. I want a freak in the morning, a freak in the evening, just like that. Yeah, just like them, honey. They want you to, like, yeah, like them, be a freak. Morning, noon, and night. And yeah, looking for a roughneck. Yeah, they, child. Mm. Okay, let's get this. <laughs> Woo, child, get out of here. Um, let, let me go ahead and get this angel number for you, child. Oh, my gosh. And we'll be right back. Okay, angel number 82 urges you to see, I'm sorry, excuse me, it urges you to use your blessings to better the lives of people who need your help or assistance in this society. Child, this person's trying to bless your life. Did you hear me? They want to do something for said. you. This per Child, this person, I, what is you going to do? Because I don't, now this is, see, that's the secret is they a freak. Look at this. I can't, they a freak, honey. That's the thing. I don't know if you... It, it, somebody here has tried a lot of things they have experienced. And they don't know. It's like they want to see what you're into. Whatever they're you into, honey, they didn't already tried it. That's what I'm you a said. child. I'm ch Let's see what else these secrets are. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Well, show me more on the secrets. We have Pisces. We have Aries. Um, someone here also could be a fixed sign. Aries to source energy. Um, we uh strong Aries. Oh my gosh, and Scorpion. What else is going on? All right, hold on, guys. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, there's a lot going on. So okay, somebody here four cups. Somebody here for like um you. 
This is somebody here that walked away from you. They regret that shit with the Eight of Cups. I want to see the secret first. Yep, that's exactly what I'm getting. Show me something on the uh, the moon energy. What's, 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 what's the moon? Someone here didn't give you any closure when they walked away from you. They just walked away from you. This person is egotistical with the um, emperor energy. They have like a big ego. I just heard Beyonce, such a big ego. Such a big ego. You, this person got a big ego. Yep, nine of cups. And the four of cups. I told you. This this is also somebody here. They wanted to walk away with you away from you and they regret that. The four of cups is right back out. Ooh, what's this? Yep, the knight of pentacles in reverse. They wish they could take it back. Yep, and the nine of pentacles. Damn, they wish they could take back. Um, and y'all think would have just worked together with you or had you as a stat. Tell you better. What? What the fuck y'all got me reading? What's this right here? Give me more. Honey, yeah. But whatever you want, this person wants to do stuff for you. <laughs> yeah, but this is somebody this is somebody that wants to come back. They ended things. Give me more about the eight of cups. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry. The four the four cups energy. Why they regret it now? Let me see the four cups first. Because they, for some of you guys, somebody that um, wants to come back, they know where you come from. It's like at the time they was, yep, I cannot make this shit up. Child, look at this. The third wheel and blind. Like something at the time they was just, I don't know, into what they were into. They could have found somebody that was kind of open like them. This uh, like third wheel person. But it's like they wasn't seeing straight. And that's what they want you to understand now. Child, I'm telling you compromise they want to compromise with you but this is also somebody here that's like they want you back even as a third wheel somebody here could want an open relationship with you and they're going to try to get you to do it y'all oh my gosh I, this is wild as fuck to me yep they are if you let this person they've been child that is their goal to get you honey they're going to get you they're going to steal your energy and get you trapped in this shit that's their plan yeah they've been thinking a lot about this shit and they ready. And this could be somebody here that's like, no, nah, you know, it starts, y'all start off as friends. You don't even, this person is, this is a very high sexual man or woman. If this is a woman, it's like, she's in her masculine. And that's exactly how she approaches her sexual energy. So she could have like a friend or something like her or with her or something like that. And it's like they will run this game on you. Next thing you know, y'all touch y'all, y'all, y'all in y'all birthday suits. That's what she said. This is Yeah, honey, disturbance, stop and apology. But it's like they, it, yeah, indulgement and alliance. I and for some of you guys, this could be somebody here that tried this before. Now, if this is a man. He could be in a relationship with a woman and there and she she's open or she's attracted to you too or what turns him on turns her on so she down. Yes. I just heard Brandy. I wanna be down for what you going through. They, yeah, this person is down whatever this person wants. They, they uh, Oh man. Y'all, what is going on? <laughs> Let me see this emperor. This you got this. But they want me to use these cards. Okay, they want me to. Okay, before we before we do that, we're checking out the eight of cups real quick. What's the eight of cups? This is somebody here that definitely left you hanging. It's like they just left you hanging. Yup, the four of cups. They left you disappointed, but it's like it disappointed them. This is, wow, what's the eight of cups? Show me the Eight of Cups, please. Someone here has, like, um, wool hat. They're into wool hat. Someone when it gets cold, they wear face masks. This person also has you, like, in the memory of their phone or some shit like that. We got, yep, they did. The Nine of Pentacles, they left you hanging. And um, the Queen of Cups. This is crazy because this is someone here that felt like you wanted to be single or it would be better if y'all just be friends or some shit like that. The Knight of Cups. Yep, the World Card. Yeah. 
that's what they thought in the Ace of Wands. And they met, this is a new person they met? So this is a new person they met that they got open like this, that is like open to connecting with you. Yup, Knight of Swords. And they jump fast in this relationship with it. And they're, they don't, they're not happy. For some of you guys, this is, you know, this person is cool, but this is not somebody they're choosing. And they do regret, like, you. What's the Four of Cups? The Two of Cups in reverse. And if, oh, shit. Too much fucking drama. They All they do is argue and fight. Your emperor could be very, whoever this emperor is, they are very, they're, I keep hearing egotistical, so they always fighting or something. I don't know. We got to see what the fight, child. Yep, they are. They be fighting in the crib, too. So they going over each other's houses, whoever this person is. Are they fighting over you? Uh, what's, what's the T? Oh, no. Hold up, child. Wait a minute. Hold up. What's the T on the fabric? Oh, this car shouldn't even be here. They got feelings for you. This could be someone here that is kind of irritated with the situation because they got a cup for you. So they're always arguing, fighting, irritated with this person because they really want to be. They want, they want, they, 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 they want you. They, they regret this. Someone here could have felt like they moved too fast with this person at the same time. But at the time it looked good. They were like, you know, doing things together. Child, I don't know how the fuck you met this person. Woo! That's what she said. All right, what's, what's, give, give me some tea. Here on the five of ones, what, what are they fighting about? What are these people fighting about? What else are they fighting about here? Mm. Travel and uninterested. They know this person wants to come towards you. Yup. They know. Oh, they didn't got a reading. That's what this fucking reading. They got a reading. And they know this person could have been planning like a travel with you or something like that. And they could have thought this person was uninterested in you. It's like somebody is putting the pieces together. This could be also somebody that's like, no, something is wrong. I know we're into open things, so it was easy to camouflage. But this is somebody that really has a cup for you. So they could have got a reading on it because something feel right and found out this person's plans. Yep, clout hungry. And this is someone here that's doing shit for clout. This could be trying to get you. They could be saying anything. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up a dramatic. So they're doing shit to get your attention? Yeah, man, these motherfuckers have groupie sex. That's what she said. I'm telling you. And they could have thought you were just going to be another groupie member to their little sex cult. Whatever the yeah, fuck this shit is. I, they found some shit in this person's phone, too. And I was going to fucking say that. I hate that. that Because they got love on the brain when it comes to you. Mmm. This is also somebody here that feels like something they've hit the jackpot with you? Or just like knowing you or something? Child, let's look at this emperor. Because mm. you are the king of pentacle pentacles, you're abundant. Your relationships type. For some of you guys, you're you provide something, you bring something to the table. What's the emperor? Damn, Gina. Ooh, there's a lot going on. The Eight of Pentacles. And it's, yep, for some of you guys, they're trying to figure out their options on to how to make this work. And for some of you guys, it's to get you on the team. Yep, the four chalices, because they don't want to miss this opportunity. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, for some of you guys, if you say no to being like this third wheel or whatever the fuck, it will, they, they're going to be disappointed. I don't know if this person is under the impression that you might like the same sex too. Eight of Wands, yep. And if they will be so depressed if you, you know, don't. The Five of Chalices. Mm. Yep, the Sun card. So, and this is somebody, they're ready to expose something to you. Yep, the Nine, the nine of Pentacles. And this is someone here, this, they, it's like, either way it go, they would love if you do this. But if you don't do it, they're still going to fuck with you. That's what they want. That's what she said. Damn, Gina. Yup, the six of wands. They coming towards you. Someone here, they want to put their hands on you, child. Mm. 
I hope I didn't fuck this reading up. I tried the best, honey. I think it's good. I really think. I just need to look at you one good time, baby, because, woo. That's what she said. Okay. What's the king of pentacles? What is the king of pentacles? Oh, my gosh. The sun card. Oh, my gosh. That's what she said. Child. It's like they have had some kind of enlightenment about you, honey. This person's obsessed. They got to have you. I mean, this came out a strong area. This was also on the Aries channel. I think it just uploaded this morning. This person, somebody here, and Aries is the baby of the Zodiac, the boss of the Zodiac. Okay? Baby bosses. are. That's also like one of their like uh, mythology. Myth Myth names, I'm going to just say that. Um, myth, I can't say it. Yeah, let's just say one of their myth names, like when it comes to the, the astrologies and stuff like that, okay? Um, and they're used to having their ways. Okay. Then, Yeah. It's like, and this is somebody here, it's like sooner or later, it's going to happen one way or another. They're going to get you. I don't know if I'm supposed to be scared for you. Because, damn. Um, yeah, yep, liberation, illness. Good news. Yep, this person has good news coming in. It's like when you freed yourself from this person or walking away gave you some sort of freedom. They're sw swole about this. Show me the enlightenment. What's the sun cord here? Um, Be careful because this person here also finds you like... They don't even care if you got pregnant for real. That's what she said. Or they got pregnant by you. Like, it would just, like, seal something for them. Is how they feel. Mask, self-love, and luck. They didn't see how much you love yourself and how lucky they would be to be with you. Some of you guys, um, the reason why you're loving yourself, you're attracting so much abundance right now. And they see something they didn't see before. At first, they could have felt... They, sometimes they don't know how to feel about it, though. Yep, curse. Ooh. So, they could feel like they cursed herself. Yep, when they lost you. Damn! I'm sorry, child. Oh, my gosh. This reading. They're blaming their pride and ego. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, honey. We got the page of cups. Oh, that's the truth. This fell out. So they want to make you this offer. Oh, I'm sorry. The Knight of Cups. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They want to make you this offer. What the hell? Yeah. And they've been somebody here. It's like they're waiting because they just they know this shit's gonna work. They are nervous as fucked up, but they know this shit's going to work. It's like something about... They are... Yeah, honey. They know this is going to work. And they know they got to come correct. To you, King of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. Okay. Use this one. All right. What's the King of Pentacles here? Show me something else, and we're going to have to sum this up. I, I can't even tell. I've been on this reading. Woo, because it's hot. This reading is hot. What's this? Yep. Oh, man. Look at this lover's card. I'm telling you, somebody here, I don't know who this person is. They're allowed to be have open relationships, and they want to have an open relationship with you. It's, they're also giving this other person hell until they get you. This could be somebody where their person is like, man, I'm going to get the bitch. That's what she said. Fuck. Because you are acting like a crayon. You, the emperor, they're used to having their way. And they are acting like they're who they are. And they're sign. That's why I said that in astrology. Um, so they, this person is acting out having bitch fits because they don't have you. <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> the ten of pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, shit ain't going right in the house. They could live with this person or they're always over each other's house. Um, yep, the store card and the ten of chal chalices. Oh my gosh. So this other person's thing is the only way that like you they're gonna get you or you gotta like join the crew. That's, That's the truth. And these people, child, they might want to tie you up, honey. Oh, my gosh. They want to travel somewhere. But it will, it's going to blow up. It will blow up if you do this because this person really has, like, they, there's deeper feelings here than they should. Ugh. And I feel you right now, you are unfazed. So I, I don't know if you, I don't think whoever I've been picking up on for the last couple of days, you don't really know, like, Maybe you don't, you're on faith because you don't know their whole situation with this person. And this is someone here that has a lot of pride, honey. They got to get your ass. Um, what else is going on here, honey? Mm. I just don't know. Don't turn back. Yup. Someone here thought they was never going to turn back. Slowly but surely they did. Look at this shit. When they walked away from you. So that could be the problem. Maybe they walked away because you didn't know, like, the, the, like their secret. Like, they're in this relationship thing. They have an open thing. And they know you're uncomfortable with it. For real, for real. Or something. And other times they're not sure how you would feel about it. This could be a trio. So, okay, because they just said trio. Okay. So, if you are in a trio, a trio. Um... It's like they're allowed to date you, but you have no connection with the other person. So, y'all don't, like, interact at all. It's like you know where he's at when he's there, and she know where he's at when he's with you. So, they could be in a, a trio kind of situation. And this is a poly. Um, this is someone here. It's like they want, you know, this woman wants to put hands, you know, and, and, and lips on you, too. You can live in the same house, you know, you, her girlfriend and you, his girlfriend kind of shit. That's what I'm picking up on. And now, in this person's head, this, and this is somebody, you're, I don't know if you know the secret of who, like, your emperor is really, like, the shit they're on and they're into. This person has a very high, very high sex drive. So they have tried other sexual things in, with other sexual partners. But... They're aware of the difference or something like that is what I'm getting here and what they're telling me. So where do you, what, what would you, if they, either way it go, they will have to get you to get in on this. So which, what, what you going to bite? Which, what, which bait to give? What, they're going to give both baits. Which one is you going to bite on? The trio or the poly? Now there's some, this, uh, it's like, this is somebody here. I don't know you. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. You might have a, the strength to break this poly relationship because you fulfill certain things inside of this person and they can't control it. I don't know what the fuck, like, is going on. I don't, um, I didn't see, a, like, a, the twin flame or the soulmate core come out, but it's giving that strong energy. Maybe this is, like, the closest to it they have ever experienced. For some of you guys, it could be. Because you know we are initiated to read for the soulmates and the twin flames. When you hear you have already encountered your person. And I will also read other people you're connecting to. But you have already encountered your true twin flame or soulmate if you're on this channel. Um, Now, I really feel like this is somebody that's also willing to try to get you to bait in whoever they with. Because it keeps them happy and it will also keep them there. But I really believe you have the power to feed this person enough. Sexually, spiritually, and physically. Where they don't need another partner. So they feel fulfillment with you. And that's the problem. <sighs> no. Abuse of power relieve the pressure for some of you guys that you're not going to do it i'm not saying I, I believe you yeah i've got superpowers for some of you guys you heal so much you know your power and you know your strength 
You have peeled so much, you didn't came so far. You're not going to do this. Yep, cool, relax, everything is fine. You ain't mad. You chilling. You just ain't going to fuck with it. And I, I, under, I respect that. Like I said, it's, I, like, have to, my job is to read the energy to help make the choices that you guys need to make about the energy that is here. Taking a deeper look on what's going on around you. So, I'm going to read it like that. I don't want to give my personal opinion out. I will tell y'all, warn y'all, to, to, you know, if I think it will help or I have some kind of experience that I will help with you guys, I will share. But it would be up to you to make this kind of choice. If you would want to be in a poly or trio. And when it comes, or trio, however you say it. And when it comes to spirituality, you know, um, and people that are spiritual. Because this could be, like I said, the emperor is also spiritual. This could be a sigma. And you, um, I ain't going to lie, this looks like a low vibrational. And you got to understand that certain spiritual men that will do things and also abuse their powers to get a certain system they want to work for them, like two women, but really not doing it the way it actually is supposed to be done. That's why I do speak on that. And if you're going to be true poly, true poly is you have enough money to take care of more than one wife, ding, ding, that's your confirmation, and you are married to both of these women. Now, I'm not saying that that's not something this person will offer you. But that will be something that you would have to make a decision to think about. Then, then that's your confirmation because you hear that confirmation. Okay. Okay. I just had to be clear on that. All right, guys. Because this looked like something you really might have to tell somebody. Jeez. I will be also putting one of these on your areas only placements, love tarot. What this person wants to say to the collective? This reading is a little bit longer than I wanted to, but step forward, honey. Yep, because you looking like Juliet. You looking like goddamn Juliet. And this is someone here. See, that's what I'm saying. They're controlling. This person here is very controlling. This is also someone here that knows how to get their way. You know, emperors are spoiled. And they like for like people to spoil them and... You know, um, they want to be spoiled. And that's exactly what this other person is doing. You are like the biggest treat right now ever to this person. Yep, solid two. Calm down, listen to your inner voice, and reduce, reduce anxiety. For some of you guys, you really, that's what I'm saying. Like, to make this choice, I, you need to sit down and maybe have a conversation with yourself to see... You know, because I don't know what you could be into and what could be okay for you. Now, as the emperor, he ain't come out in reverse. So, this could be somebody here as a, a provider. There's many ways that I've heard that people that choose this. Um, like, if you're the king of pentacles and you make some sort of kind of money and this is the emperor and he makes more money than you, y'all could come together, do things. This could be somebody here that breaks it down to you like that and be willing to provide for you because that's what they want to do. But the, it, the marriage, the emperor is also a husband and the king in, in pentacles is also a wifey or hubby, right? So that's why I'm saying this. So this could be a proposal as well. Like, this is a real fucking proposal for, like, a trial or a poly relationship. Now, in the past, there has been energies that has came out where it was just for sex. But this person wants you to be, like, a wife of theirs or they will take you on for a wife. This could be someone here that they were in a poly now and now they're going to step it up for you. Or a trio, they're going to step it up for you and do it right. Like, really, like, you know, take it serious. Like, no, I'm in a real trio. I got two wives. I'm going to focus on that. Making sure you cool, your bills is paid. I mean, really, like, doing it like that. Or y'all in some kind of roof. The house is big enough where y'all ain't really. Like, I don't know. Because the emperor could have connections and money. So, I got to speak on what I'm speaking on right now. That's why. This could be like a real offer. Like you really would have to think about it. Um, and this person has a way about going about this. So 
right now by yourself, you need to really get your focus together because you would have to really let this person and be stern on this because they really, the emperor, they really want you. They, and the knight of wands is coming out around him. I mean, that is like, they want you. Yep, trust. I'm telling you and express your love. And yep, moment. This is going to be a hell of a moment you about to have with somebody and they are going to express exactly what they're saying. I don't know. I mean, they might even, you know, the emperor has, like, property. They might even have a house to show you. Like, this is not going to be easy. This person has a proposal for you. <sighs> I just heard a proposition. Honey, they reaching out. Bitch, I'm about to run. If you want to run, this is the tab. You might need to run. I don't know. Because <laughs> they, this, you, this is them energies where you would have never, and I'm not saying this is you. I'm just saying as an example for people that have been through this already. Because half the women in these relationships never thought they would be in. Like, you would have never thought or ever considered or had to think about the shit. Rekindle. This person, want, when I say this is somebody that wants you back, it's like they have already... It's, uh, the, the, this is the thing that gets you to get in on this. That's the only thing they need. They already got the okay. It's already all good. They don't give a fuck. They got control over this other person here. We're going to get some universal messages, honey. This could be this person, you, or this other third person. Someone here, see, this person could be dealing with tax evasion. Someone here could have blonde hair, child abuse. Okay, so there could be a situation around a child. That could be also somebody that had a baby bath. Dark hair is here. We have recorded. This person here is in the sex tapes, too. <gasps> oh, my God. Yo, when I fucking tell you, I'm not... Y'all, this is some this is a real lie. Open marriage or trial. And this is somebody they want to control you. Yeah. Court. Yep, they're they're in court about some kind of child 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 abuse. Okay, or with appearing in court with some kind of child abuse, honey. They might can use an extra mother or father. If you get my drift. Okay, they're showing me these cards. All right. Mm. Love is strange, honey. Love is strange. Please don't lose hope. They don't want you to lose hope. Somebody here is like, they don't want you to look at this. This could be someone here that comes at you in their spiritual energy, too. Like, look, I'm a spiritual man. This is my beliefs. I can afford to do this as well. So I have the right to be what I believe in. We really could get married. This is real. This is this is like, this ain't no bullshit. I don't know why I just hurt no Diddy. I don't know if your person can say that. Attempting offer at a high price. Well, God damn. Now, to be honest with you, this other person here will do anything for this person. But deep down inside, they really don't want you there. Because they know this person really, really is really into you. Working too hard and they will do whatever the fuck they got to do to get you. Maybe they never seen this person like this before. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, now I'm seeing a nice ass house and it's bright and it's white. Somebody here has an extra property. They could already been doing this. This could be somebody here that takes you and shows you this extra fucking property. Like I got this, I got that. We'll be cool, we'll be good. I'm gonna take care of you, I'm for real. This is part, like this could also be like, part of their spiritual beliefs as a sigma maybe they never ran across somebody they really wanted to bring into that world that they know they are able to have on spiritual terms because uh, 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 if you agree to this this person will be protected by spiritual laws physical and um, spiritual and y'all really could get married Y'all need to look some shit up. Y'all got to do some research in solitude. Okay? Oh, my gosh. Um, What's the oracles here? Attempting offer at a high price. There is going to be some sacrifices that you will obviously have to make. Because you will have to consider, child, I can't believe we haven't as written. Um, of, of somebody else being there. Obviously, you're going to have to make sacrifices. 
If this person has two wives, there will be a, a spiritual understanding between families, um, children, shit like that. Be your true self, grumpy red fairy. Now, this can also be you being angry with this person, you know, or something like that. They could know you're mad at them, but they want they're coming. This is how they're gonna clean it up with you. Now, for some of you guys, the, the you are mad about this is somebody new in their life that they could have met after you and they're on this level with this person. So that's a little offensive. Yeah, the natural world needs you, man. And it's something about you, your alchemy. Alright. For some of you guys that are uh green witches, you are you already know how you're you're you naturally grow things. It's, a, it's the way you nurture, you love this person. It's sweet memories and they can't get out their fucking head. That's why they're the king of cups. You nurtured them. I don't know what you did, honey. I don't know what you did. But this is someone here. It's like the, the fairy. Of, okay, you could be connected to the fairy. You could be a fairy. You you could be you could have a fairy uh, DNA. The fairy bloodline. So when you talk about the original riches, you know, they were different colors. So you could have been green. Like your bloodline could be green. I know when it comes to like water witches and certain other witches, they're like more like blue. And you don't even know this. Clean up time. You might notice about yourself. Mm. And I'm telling you, this person here, it, it, it's not easy to be around them right now. I did not expect for this reading to be this long, but you never know what's going to come out. Let's get the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north. No signs connected to this message. This is a real... I, wa I, I want to say, y'all, before you, you know, you really need to look up, like, um, if you're not aware of, like, a spiritual marriages, spiritual marriage license and certificates. There's a difference, by the way. Okay, I'm not bullshitting you when I say there's like physical and this person will be protected by spiritual laws. Um, of the different marriage licenses. Okay, spiritual license is different from your regular like like marriage license. You might need to look that up. Um. Hmm. Someone here has blue eyes. Now, even, um, like, some of your bloodline, some of your ancestors also could have grew, like, green hair. Or had green in their hair. And that is their favorite color to use. Like, if you never notice when you draw the witch, their favorite color is green to draw them. You could be pr protected by Ascended Masters 4 to 4. They could be men. Your Ascended Masters, your forefathers, or something like that. that of the faith. Damn. Child, you, you, yeah. I don't know if this person knows that about. So this is a Sigma that's in love with a Fae. Yeah, oh my gosh. On a spiritual level, that's why they love you like that. Or why they have this uncontrollable passion and love for you. And they want to make you, yeah. Damn. We got Pisces. We have Cancerian. We have Capricorn and Aqua Aquarius. So this is how they plan on cleaning this up with you, even though you still might be mad. This is all the fuck they think about. Some of you guys may notice that you like spicy shit, peppers or something like that. Something about, I don't know if that's like a, a ancestral thing. Maybe that's something that is coming from your bloodline. So y'all could like like natural like peppers. You could be attracted to pepper. Peppers, jalapenos, chili peppers, sweet chili sauces. You can also drink peppery shit. Like if you haven't noticed, you know, obviously the Matrix, they always try to create programs to keep you in the Matrix. Well, anyway, like, you know, we're in a great awakening. Um... So, for example, you're going to see more spice drinks. You need to be careful about that, too. Um, like, for example, I think Burger King just had, like, a spice Sprite. I forgot. It's called a hot Sprite or some shit like that. You might like shit like that. Or you're noticing, you're seeing it, you're attracting, you're buying it, drinking it. Like, oh, this is pretty good. You know, it's different. Other people would think it's like, how could you drink that or something?
Some of you guys could have just got your eyebrows arched. Some of you guys also connect to the mono arch. You might notice like butterflies around you. 11 is specific. Okay, guys. We're going to shut down right here. I did not expect this. I love you all. Ciao. Okay. This is real. This is not no fake, you know, I want a poly relationship. Because, no, this is like, this person really wants to do this and really do it right and real with you. So, if you, I, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to knock nobody's decision because there's spiritual shit really going on out here. So, if that is something that you really need to, like, look up the certificates, look up what that really is and mean, that person's all on that energy with you now. So you can kind of understand what, what they want with you. Okay? So, you know, speaking on a spiritual note, i got to give it to you like that. Okay? All right. I love you all. If I resonated with you in any way, go ahead and hit that like button, baby. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you hit it. And also, you're always tapped in to your messages. And you're getting them when they're ready for you guys. All right, as well. Stay dope. I love you. And I'll catch you the next video uploads. I'll share it in mind.